Have you ever been watching your favorite cartoon or animated series and notice an anime reference? Or have you noticed it, the, how similar the style is to anime? Well, if you have, then great. Because today's Import Legacy is about how anime has influenced American cartoons. So, how's your restaurant? Over the years, anime has had a huge impact on American media especially on American cartoons and American animated series. Actually, a lot of the creators grew up watching some of the really popular animes such as Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and Naruto, and many more. Like Craig McCracken, for example, who is the creator and worked as an animator for the Powerpuff Girls. He mentioned in an AV Club interview that he took inspiration from Japanese films because they had some of the best action scenes. Butch from the Rowdy Rough Boys has very similar hair to Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. See the resemblance? The next show that is heavily influenced by anime is Teen Titans. No, 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 not that garbage. The real Teen Titans theme song. So many people that grew up watching Teen Titans actually thought the show was an anime because of the animation style and character designs resembled in Japanese anime style. Not to mention the opening theme song was sung by Japanese pop stars Hi Hi Puffy Amiyumi, which everyone loves. Although it looks similar to anime, it's still very much an American series. Next is Avatar The Last Airbender. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Yo, it's an anime. No, it's not. It wasn't even made in Japan. It doesn't matter where it's made. It's an anime. A lot of fans of this show actually argue. Yeah, okay, mom. All right. If it's an anime or not. Stop calling me, mom! <sighs> the show, just like Teen Titans, are very similar to Japanese style of animation. Also, the action scenes are similar to the action packed fighting scenes in anime. Not only has American cartoons and series been heavily influenced by anime, many American shows added to reference from anime too. Shows like Amazing World of Gumball, Fairly Odd Parents, Codename Kids Next Door, and many more. The creator of Amazing World of Gumball is a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, and in one of the episodes, Gumball actually goes Super Saiyan. Codename Kids Next Door did a whole fight scene inspired by Goku and Frieza's fight. Hand it over, delightful lawns, or face the wrath of number four go! The animated series The Boondocks has several fight scenes that look similar or sometimes exactly like fight scenes from Naruto, Samurai Champloo, and Cowboy Bebop. The show also had very anime style as well. Then the show that was one big anime reference, Kappa Mikey. Kappa Mikey included many parodies and references from animes. Even one of the main characters, Guano, looked similar to the most popular Pokemon character ever, Pikachu. Guano even spoke like Pokemon. He would only say his name, Guano, just like Pikachu and other Pokemon. Grab his gun! <laughs> <laughs> the character Gonard was actually voiced by Sean Schemmel, who is also famously known for doing the English dub voice for Goku. Oh, thanks. And sorry, but I really wish you would answer one of the 537 letters I've sent you. To sum it up, many cartoons and anime series have been heavily influenced by anime, so the creators of a lot of the shows that we grew up watching took inspiration from this. At the end of the day, let's enjoy what we're watching. You come over. Sorry. All right. That's it. This has been your week's import legacy with the host, me, Deja. See you next week.